Welcome Sagittarius. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Grace Cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. So Sagittarius, whenever you see this video is when it is right for you. If it doesn't resonate with you, please check out your um, other placements and see if there's a message there for you. Alrighty then, let's get into it. Three cards for Sagittarius, please. Three cards for Sagittarius. Dang, it went on the floor. It's okay. I don't like how that flipped over. Where did it go? I don't even know what it is. Okay. One more card for Sagittarius, please. Thanks. Okay, Sagittarius. So, we have Surprise. It says, keep an open mind. The influence of grace is often found in unexpected places. That's cool. And the next card we have here is a valour. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, be courageous. The unmistakable touch of grace will follow us wherever we go. Interesting. And we have connect. Find your centre. When we stay connected, our spiritual core, oh sorry, when we stay connected to our spiritual core, the best and most advantageous path unfolds before us. Mm, that's so true. Like when we are, you know, it's sort of like tapping into that natural authenticity of who we are, right? And, um, and everything works when we do that. You know, it's kind of like you don't kind of sweat the small stuff so much. And yeah, it, it's good. Okay, so let's have a look at surprise. Two cards for surprise for Sagittarius, please. Keep an open mind. The influence of grace is often found in unexpected places. How exciting. And the thing is, I feel like, you know, when that happens, it's not like you're going to be going, oh, is that... Is that something? Is that something? You're going to know. There's going to be not a guess, guessing game at all. You're going to know for sure. Okay, so two cards <clears throat> for surprise, please. There they are. It's down the table. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Contemplation. Can't be, it's like, ooh, I wonder what it will be. You know, and this is the thing is getting excited about it, right? Because it's sort of like going on this adventure. And when you get excited about it, it opens you up to receive more of that. Lots of little surprises waiting for you here, Sagittarius. And I absolutely love it. This could even be you surprising yourself as to how strong you are. You know, your, your inner wisdom and, and realizing this transformation that may be taking place or that has taken place you know um yeah really really i feel like look back and see how far you've come and um and know that the path ahead there's so much more waiting for you which is really exciting okay so two cards for contemplation for sagittarius please two cards And I said, oh, whoa, that just was like, what? I suppose too, I want to say before I look at these cards, is that it's also contemplating what does the future hold and get excited about that, you know? Um, because psh, who knows? Yeah? <clears throat> okay, we have inner voice, we have the lovers, and we have sharing. Really, really cool. I love this, um, and and I feel like this is you coming on board with yourself. It's sort of like you meet yourself in a sense and go, "Wow, this is you," and I absolutely love that. It, you know, and the thing is that you know this is about you sharing, sharing your knowledge, sharing your wisdom with the world. 
okay this is going to bring in people who are a match for you whether that's romantically or spiritually okay <clears throat> yeah this is awesome you're going to have your people come in 100% here Sagittarius okay so perfect setting oh Sagittarius you know this is you creating your perfect setting in your life what does that look like you are the one holding the paintbrush here you get to design it whichever way you like so contemplate on what you would like that to look like right that's cool that is very cool okay so perfect setting two cards for perfect setting for Sagittarius please well oh that's gone and bent okay that's one one more for perfect setting there we go okay so trust trust Tr not not just trusting in um in grace right in source trusting in yourself first and foremost trusting that you will create a very serene environment for yourself and it could be the case that maybe in the past it hasn't been so serene you know, um, I, I just feel like you, you've got that control now. You, you know, it, it's kind of like at one point in your life, someone else was holding the paintbrush. And even if they weren't, even if it was you, there's been growth happen that now you have this awareness that you are able to put your trust in in order to create something magnificent yeah experiencing using your experiences to do this okay experiencing your life becoming one with the transformation because um and becoming one with whatever has transpired up until this point you know understanding that it's um it's all been part and parcel to get you to where you are it's all been necessary for you to be able to create this landscape. It's like an artist doesn't become an artist overnight. Um, they have to learn the combination of colours, what works with what, you know, um, before they can, you know, and they have to practice, practice, practice. They also learn from their mistakes. Okay, so this is all, all part of it here, Sagittarius. Okay, so... Valor, next card for Sagittarius. Two cards for Valor. Third, Sagittarius, please. Be courageous. The unmistakable touch of grace will follow us wherever we go. Yeah, see, this is the thing. You have support on the other side, no doubt about it. Okay? Um, and <clears throat> it's been open to that. Okay? Um knowing that you're guided. We've got childlike spirit here. Uh, we've got maintain your childlike spirit, okay? And um, this is part of, you know, you being courageous, I feel, okay? To, because there's this, there's this sense inside of you that it's kind of like, You'd like to go maybe in a certain direction and you're contemplating that. But there's this thing that comes in and goes, you can't do that, you know. And, and I feel like it really is about trusting and taking the leap of faith here. Really, really, you have to kind of draw on that playful inner child to come forth and take the lead because the adult is actually like, no, 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 no. we couldn't do that. Child's like, let's go and so yeah okay so two cards for maintain your childlike spirit <clears throat> okay that's just that just was not right okay let's try again maintain your childlike spirit two cards for Sagittarius please mm, they're not coming out they're way there there we go 
Yep, yep, yep. Okay, there's a card that's flipped over here. What is this? Guilt. Yep, see, you may feel guilty about doing what you want to do. Okay, you may feel like you you shouldn't and you should just, you know, stay in line. No, you should go on an adventure. Okay, this is bringing out this childlike spirit, right? Bringing out an adventure, going and doing something new, stepping into the truth of who you are, which is this consciousness. Okay, um, and this is where you're going to find these surprises here. Okay, because you want these surprises. You want this um, excitement and this these joyful, unexpected things to happen in your life. But if you're going to keep yourself caged in, that's not going to happen. Okay, so this is very important. And remember, you are supported. You're supported by the consciousness. You're supported by, which is the truth of who you are. You're supported by your guides. guides. You're supported by your loved ones who have passed over. And no doubt, there's at least one or two people on this earth plane who would have your back as well and be like, yes, go for it. Okay, so yeah, assurance. Yes, it's like... I feel like Sagittarius, for some of you, there's something that you have been contemplating on going forth with and you just need the assurance that it's the right direction and it's here. This is it. It's here. Okay, so two cards for assurance, please. And whether this is a, um, what is going on here? Um, whether this is a new relationship or not, um, could be for some of you, but you know, this will um, actually promote a new relationship in your life uh, with yourself, with other people, okay, whatever whatever level that is on, okay, so yeah, I feel like this is going to really, really help you grow in a huge way. There we go, that's better, this was all over the shop, now we've got Oh, yeah, I see what's happened. That one didn't fall out right. Um, jump out more so. Okay, yep, see, traveling. This is coming up for so many of the signs um, at the moment, traveling this path to where you want to go. And it might be, you know, a journey that you take on your own. Okay, but the fact of the matter is, Aquarius, is that our, our journey of our life um, is something we travel alone. No one else is traveling it with us. Even if we have people around us, we are doing it this soul journey on our own okay so i feel like it's honoring this for you okay this is a matter of honoring it okay be receptive to the growth that this adventure takes you on okay don't just sit there going oh, i'll just imagine it and hope it comes to me you have to go out and get it and make it happen okay you've actually got to take the action that is required to make this happen all right. Okay, so what have we got here? Connect. Yep. Great. This is great. Okay, two cards for connect for Sagittarius, please. Okay, so find your center. When we stay connected to our spiritual core, right? The truth of who you are, the best and most advantageous path unfolds before us. I love that. Okay, so two cards for connect for Sagittarius, please. One. One more card. Oh, it's really like hard to shuffle suddenly. I think I think that's kind of representative of like feeling like you're gonna trip up, feeling like you're gonna fail in a sense. You can never fail. And it's your soul path. You'd never fail, ever. You know, even if it appears like you might have, there's always things just leading you in another direction. Okay, so one more card for Connect for Sagittarius, please. One more card. That's it. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so the first card out here, Clear Endeavor. <clears throat> I love this. I love this. Let me just clear my throat for a tip. Yeah, see, I feel like this is the path being cleared for you, um, for you to, to go along. 
and yeah I, I, I feel as though when you're on that path if you're not already there's going to be absolutely no doubt about it it's going to be gorgeous it's going to be absolutely beautiful the whole thing even things that might be difficult is going to be such a blessing for you okay so two cards for clear endeavor for sagittarius please tell me more about this for sagittarius one two okay so we've got what was this first one comparison yes yeah, see this is the thing right of comparing yourself with others um i feel like you you do that so much sagittarius so much and the fact of the matter is these two trees have their own purpose okay one can't be like the other and um and the thing is that just like your journey that you're traveling it's yours and yours alone someone else traveling their journey that's theirs and theirs alone you can't travel it you can't travel it like them no one can travel yours like you right so this is incredibly important okay and and the other thing is with this integration card here some of you may feel like you don't have everything you need it's like you know doing this um painting here you have everything you need okay to be an artist you only need the three primary colors and you've got all the colors there whereas it's kind of like you feel like you need the green and the purple and the orange and the <clears throat> you know and the pink and the whatever else you've got everything you need you have all the tools to move forward i think this is about you putting those into practice getting the balance right connecting into your center in order to proceed forward because when you proceed forward sagittarius you are going to receive infinite blessings right look at this yeah look at this one here just watching watching and sees you following being connected and will shower you with infinite blessings wow 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 we okay so two cards for infinite blessings for sagittarius please two cards one oh wow sagittarius <clears throat> I've had some flip over and I'm being told to take these. Is that one there? I know those ones were the ones that didn't. Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> we have patience here, okay. Um, this is you being patient with what it is that you're growing, okay. Still moving forward, um, but being patient. Being patient with yourself. And understanding that you are creating a masterpiece here. The masterpiece of your life, of your soul, right? Takes time, doesn't happen overnight, okay? And here, we also have change here. And what I love about this, okay, I love about this, is that we have, we have the yin-yang symbol in the center here. We have the yin-yang symbol in the center here. Now, this yin-yang symbol, I feel, is, is representative of your center, okay? When whatever is going on around us, when we're connected to our center, that does not change. It doesn't change, okay? And what all the change that can happen all around us, it could be chaos, but this remains conscious, right? in that zone this is the master of who you are this is mastering yourself mastering the center right when we stay connected to our spiritual core the best and most advantageous path unfolds before us find your center okay and you will absolutely receive these blessings that are there for you okay it's just a matter of walking the path okay Sagittarius I'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye